Okay, uh, let me show you today how to connect a CCTV surveillance system uh, within a few minutes uh, using uh, a do-it-yourself kit. You can easily, anybody, a technical or non-technical, can connect their CCTV surveillance system and get it up and running within a few minutes. So today I will explain you how to manage these connections. First, uh, let me introduce you to the various ingredient of a CCTV surveillance system. Here you can notice there are three cameras uh, which we have put. The first one, let me show you, is an outdoor camera. Uh, it is a weatherproof housing. Similarly, uh, this is your indoor dome camera. The third one is also an uh, indoor dome camera from Essence. For connecting the CCTV cameras, you need a CCTV cable to connect your camera to the DVR. Here uh, we have uh, some pre-built cables which are very easy to fit into the camera. Uh, so you need one cable per camera. So here in this case we have three cameras. So we will need three cables to connect the camera to the, to the DVR. Here we have our DVR from eSense. Uh, this is the DVR. Let me show you. So this is the front side. This is the back side of the DVR. Here we have uh, video inputs video outputs, audio inputs, a VGA to connect your monitor, a LAN port to connect it to internet, then there is USB port uh, for connecting mouse and uh, the flash drive to take backup of your videos. Then there is the RS-485 port to basically control the PTZ cameras. This is a 12 volt DC input for powering the DVR. This is a 12 volt adapter for DVR. This is the power supply, 3 ampere power supply for our cameras. And we need a monitor. Let me first explain you uh, the camera side connections. So every camera has a B and C mail input for connecting video signal. And in a similar way, uh, we have a female power input which takes 12 volt DC. In our CCTV cable, which is like this, so we have on one side one male DC power connector and we have a BNC male connector. So we will connect BNC male to the male connector and we will connect the power connector like this. 
these two connections on the other side will be used on the DVR side. So the B and C one will go to the DVR video input and this power will be uh, used to basically giving power to the camera uh, from a central source which is a power supply of 12 volt. Now in the same fashion I will make the connections for other two cameras as well. So this is the PNC, the power, BNC for video, power. So this completes your setup at the camera end. Now uh, let me show you uh, the connections for DVR side. First of all, I will give a 12 volt power power to the DVR which will make it on. You'll hear, you'll hear a beep sound. I can connect a mouse with a USB port. So this is the mouse with a USB connection in the USB. Now, I have a monitor to be connected to the DVR. So I am using a VGA cable for this. So here is my VGA port. So I will connect the monitor to the VGA. So this way I can so oh, uh, the DVR is powered up. Now I will connect all the three cameras, the video signal for all the three cameras to the DVR. So for DVR I will use the B and C connector. So let me connect. video input of the DVR. Second one. So I have connected the video signals of three cameras to the DVR. This one. Now what is remaining is to power power up all these three cameras. So what I will do is I'll use a power supply which is 12 volt power supply. The current rating of the power supply will depend upon the current rating of the cameras. So in this case we have a very low power cameras. So I am using a 3 ampere power supply, 12 volt 3 ampere power supply to power up the cameras. So in my power supply I have only one DC male connector. So but I have to you know power up three cameras. So what I'll do is I will use a DC splitter. So what I have uh, 
in in my DC splitter I have one uh, one DC female type of connector and at the output side I have four of the DC male type of connectors so uh, I will use this kind of splitter to split my power supply into four so I will connect the output of my power supply into the DC splitter and connect it to my cameras one two and three three of the cameras are up and running